welcome everybody. So this is a quick tutorial to help you guys get Dirt 2.0 working with your Sim Magic wheelbase. The first step is to go to the link that I have in my description. It's going to take you to this Google Drive or this Dirt 2.0 configuration file, which we want to download by clicking the button in the top right corner here. And you can save it wherever you like. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Once that's done, we can close out of here. Now we need to extract that file that we just saved. I use 7-zip, but you can use anything you like. That leaves us a folder, and inside that folder we have this device defines the XML file, which we need to transfer to the game folder. Now the easiest way to get to that game folder is by opening up Steam, going to Dirt Rally 2.0, right-clicking, go down to Manage, and then click on Browse Local Files. We minimize Steam, there will be another window. We need to go into the input folder here. Double click on the de devices folder. And now we need to drag and drop the uh, XML file that we just extracted into that folder. Click replace. Once that is done, we can close these windows. You're now free to launch the game and bind your gear as you wish. If you need help with that, uh, keep watching this video and I will meet you in game. Hey right, guys, I'm going to show you how to get your gear working in game here. You want to make sure race manager is running in the background and your wheelbase is turned on and calibrated prior to launching the game. Once you're in the main menu, you're going to want to click on options and extras. Click on input. We're going to go down to the Sim Magic steering wheel and make sure that primary steering device is highlighted on it. If it isn't, just click F1 on your keyboard. Once that's done, we can go ahead and click on it. And this is where you're going to assign your left and right axis for the wheel, as well as all of your buttons for your button box. You're only going to assign your wheel in here, no other gear. Once you're done doing that, you're going to click on advanced settings and set up your dead zones, as well as your soft lock. Go over to vibration and feedback, and this is where you're going to set up your force feedback settings. Once you have everything set up how you like it, you're going to go back and you're going to set up all your other gear individually. So for instance, handbrake, you'll go in, you'll set the handbrake button. Because it has an axis, you can go into advanced and set the dead zone for that as well. You're going to go back, you do the same thing with your pedals. You accelerate your brake and your clutch. Set your dead zones as well. Go back. Once you've done setting up all of your gear, we need to calibrate it. So we'll start with the wheel, highlight it, and then you're going to click F2 on your keyboard, and then click on Calibrate Device. From here on out, we're just going to follow the directions, so we're going to turn our wheel in either direction 100% until it stops. Click Continue, recenter our wheel, and then we're going to turn it 90 degrees either to the left or right. Click Continue. Now our wheel is calibrated. So we're going to click Select. And we're going to go ahead and calibrate our pedals by doing the same thing, highlighting it by putting your mouse over top, and then hitting F2 on your keyboard, click Calibrate Device, and you're just going to push all of your pedals down as far as they go. Once you've done that, you're going to click on Continue, and then Select. Now everything is set up, and you guys are good to go. So if this video helped you out, uh, Leave a like and click that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.